Imagine a world of ice and endless grasslands, the Ice Age, ruled by the woolly mammoth. These giants, taller than a house, use their massive tusks to dig for food and fend off predators. Their thick fur and layers of fat made them masters of the cold. Mammoths roamed in herds across North America, Europe, and Asia, shaping the land itself. But as the climate warmed and humans hunted them, their world vanished. The last mammoth survived on a remote Arctic island just 4,000 years ago. For millennia, they existed only in fossils and cave art, a lost chapter in Earth's story. Now, science is daring to reopen that chapter. What if we could bring the woolly mammoth, or something like it, back to life? The quest to revive the mammoth starts in the Arctic permafrost, where remains have preserved fragments of DNA. DNA is life's blueprint and scientists have pieced together the mammoth's genetic code from these ancient samples. But perfect DNA is rare. So instead, researchers compare mammoth DNA to that of their closest living relative, the Asian elephant. Using CRISPR gene editing, they swap key elephant genes for mammoth ones, traits like shaggy hair, thick fat, and cold-resistant blood. The result? Not a pure mammoth, but a hybrid and elephant engineered for the cold. This embryo would be carried by a surrogate Asian elephant or perhaps one day an artificial womb. Each step is a leap in genetic science, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. It's not about cloning the past, but creating a new future. The project is ambitious, filled with technical and ethical challenges. But the dream of seeing mammoths walk again is closer than ever. What would this new mammoth look like? Picture an elephant with a shaggy coat, small ears, and a hump of fat, built for Arctic survival. But why bring them back? The goal is bigger than curiosity. Scientists hope these mammoths could help fight climate change by restoring the Arctic tundra. Thousands of years ago, mammoth herds kept grasslands healthy and the ground frozen. Without them, shrubs and moss now warm the soil, releasing greenhouse gases as permafrost thaws. Mammoths could reverse this, trampling vegetation, compacting snow, and helping keep the ground cold. Their return could slow permafrost melt and lock carbon in the soil. In essence, they'd be ecosystem engineers, using ancient power to protect our future. It's a bold plan, using the past to save the planet. But can it work? The idea of mammoths roaming again is thrilling, but it raises tough questions. Some see it as a chance to restore lost ecosystems and right ancient wrongs. Others worry about playing God, animal welfare, and the risks to today's endangered species. Would these new mammoths thrive or struggle in a changed world? Could they disrupt the Arctic or face health problems we can't predict? Critics argue resources might be better spent saving species on the brink now. Ultimately, the question isn't just, can we, but should we? As we stand on the edge of this new frontier, we must decide what kind of future we want to create.